Hey guys, welcome back to another World of Tanks replay, and we're refeaturing a tank that I featured a couple of weeks ago um, on a overview video I did, and it's the Pajetto 46 medium Italian auto reloader. Um, one of my favourite tanks in the game, set up pretty well as we'll look at the setup later. Um, but this was a pretty special game. I would kind of wish I'd saved the overview for for this one. Um, it was the end of the night. And uh, I had a pretty rubbish dirt playing tanks, as, as we know that happens. And um, I just, I, I had put in the gold, I added a directive and went, let's just go out on a high. Don't care what it costs, let's just go out on a high. And uh, like I said, I was just wrapping up for the day. Here we are on highway, running to the, uh, the medium corner, the A1. And we'll see what we can see along the way. And sure enough, there's my uh, counterpart on the other team, the Progetto 46. And now I know here if I can shoot through the wall, I can get damage, and there we go. And we managed to finish him off. Thanks to the damage put in from our Barask friend on the hill here, and he'll come into play later on. Um, plays rather a significant role in this battle. So we got our first kill. It's a T-44 down here. I wonder if we can get a bite out of him. There's also a Udez, and I think if I creep around the corner, and there's a nice bush here just to cover me. Um... I'm getting spotted, and uh, we missed the first round, we get the second, can we get the third for the kill? And we do, that's two kills with uh, barely a minute and a half gone in the battle. So we've got the three uh, three mediums up here now, uh, nothing going on in the city yet, but there is a T-44 hanging out down in the valley there. So can we do anything with him, don't want to go too far through the bush, can we get a clean shot on him? Um, not even sure how well aimed we were there, but we uh, we got lucky, I guess. And something is shooting our T44-100. Um, could be TDs hiding in the bush line, or it could be this STA-1. So uh, what can we do about the STA-1? He's not spotting us. Can we finish him off? I don't believe we just got four kills. We could be on for a top gun here. This would be pretty cool, actually. This would be a nice way to end um, a, a bad session of playing tanks. There's a G-saw up on the hill. Can't quite see him. I've only got one round in anyway. Now we've got two rounds. What can we do? Should we wait for the third round? No. We'll just go. We'll go for the tracking shot. And now we've no rounds to finish him off. So I guess, uh, is it my T-44-100 that finished him off? And the Pershing just disappears. I'm going to put a blind shot into him. Because we're going to relocate. We're going to start to move forward. Uh, how well are we doing? So far, we've got four out of the five kills. If you notice in this battle as well, there's also four G-Saws on either side. Can we do anything about this Pershing? We just wait for the shell to reload. We get the extra one in, but we didn't need it. Yeah, four, four G-Saws on either team. This is just after the summer sales event when they were they were selling them off. So I um, guess everybody was picking them up and they all brought them to this battle. Now, this isn't the prettiest of tanks, but uh, it certainly does perform. We found another G-Saw up on the hill. Um, and also, it's not the fastest of tanks. It's uh, its Tech Tree counterpart, the Pantera 44, is a little quicker. Might have got up the hill a little faster. And I'm desperate now because I'm thinking, I can get a top gun out of this. I can get a top gun out of this. Let's keep moving, keep moving. But is my brass going to go in and finish him off before I get a chance? Kind of getting half shots on him, but because he's over the ridge, I don't get a clean shot. Uh, Barras takes the first shot, and um, maybe the Barras missed the second shot. I didn't have one, and, and I managed to finish him off. We have another G-Saw. have another G-Saw. Looks like he's isolated too, which is pretty cool, because if he's on a reload, then uh, we shouldn't have too many problems. Although we're on full hit points, I think we'll out-trade him here. Um, uh, my Barras, did he put a shot in? He put the second shot in there, so he's out of shots now, so I should come in and finish him off. Not in one shot, maybe two. Bang. How many is that? That's six. That's seven? Wow, that's seven. It just comes up fast, doesn't it? Um, so we got our Top Gun. Um, what about a Radley Walters? I don't think I've ever had a Radley Walters. Okay, got a somewhat S hem here. Um, I'm going to try the same trick I tried earlier and shoot through the wall. 
Don't manage to hit him though. But the G saw certainly hits us and He's on just a couple of hit points there. He's an easy kill. He's an easy kill for a Radley and this KV5. Yep, nope. I, I blew on my gold rounds by being silly early on and preloading them. Um, so I'm not going to take on. I'm not going to take on the KV5. Um, although this uh, the G G saw is a good player. I think I'm going to go for him. There's also an IS-3 down there, but he's a little bit far away. I'll get flanked by the G-Saw before I get a chance to get to him. Um, so let's go hunt the G-Saw. Hunt the G-Saw. So he knows I'm coming now. Definitely knows I'm coming, but he should still be around this corner. We're obviously playing a hide game of hide-and-seek here, and I get completely disoriented at this point, and he's behind me. Is he on a reload? That's the important thing. Even if he gets one shot into me, I only have to pen him once. We managed to get a shot in. And the IS-3 is right behind me at this point. I don't realize. I start running around the buildings. Um, yeah, we got our eighth kill. Um, and I'm looking for an IS-3, an invisible IS-3. If I'd have been looking uh, properly, I could have got the ninth. But you know what? First Radley Waters, I will take it. Fantastic battle to end the night. So look felt like we we never stopped running and we never stopped firing only the second class in this tank it's a very popular tank it's a very good tank but we did get the top gun we did get the radley walters so we can't complain about that very good crew on this tank as i mentioned in my previous video one of the twitch drop commanders and the twitch prime and if you link your twitch prime account uh, to your world of tanks account um you you can you can get these kind of drops uh, the rest of the crew are no slight, which is either. Uh, three and a half skills on those guys. Um, coming up for four skills near. And as you can see, we have uh, we have uh, Bond Vents. We have Bond V-Stabs. And I just upgraded the Bounty Optics. So this is really as good as it gets on this tank. And you can see there with the uh, stationary camo and the, uh, the view range that we have achieved on this tank. Uh, looking at the team score, you see my friend here, the Barask. He, uh, he did almost twice as much damage as me and only got the one kill, uh, which was kind of sad. Uh, but I did contact him after the game um, to say thanks to him. And maybe he deserved uh, more than he got out of this. Although he did get a couple of medals. I think probably a high caliber and a confederate he achieved. In terms of uh, the detail report, big chunk of XP there. Despite firing those premium rounds unnecessarily somewhat, we still pulled 80,000 out of there and 14 going into uh, stock. So yeah, this was my uh, right-hand man here, uh, Swagner10, great wingman, and I thank him for backing me up there, um, I, I, I give all the kudos to him that he took a lot of the damage out of those tanks that allowed me to get my first ever Radley Walters medal. Yeah, he was gracious as well about it, and uh, we actually uh, friended each other in the game after this. Um, nice to see a pleasant message at the end of a game for a change, so... But this is a great tank, guys. I said it in my last video. I say it now. I'm playing it more and more, and I'm having a great time in it. Although my win rate is dropping slightly. It was at 54. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up there. If you want to see more of this, head over to my Twitch stream, Guardians of the Slow Lane. And uh, I'll see you there, hopefully. Take care. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye now.